And finally, we're going to talk about actual social groups, group level dynamics going beyond what happens in the individual kind of interactions of individual self and, and social environment and thinking about kind of what are these larger level group dynamics. And the most important construct here is the notion of the in-group versus the out-group. And this is so important. It really, uh, again, goes back to our evolutionary history. Uh, we can see very clearly that apes now uh, live in these kind of small social groups centered around this kind of dominant leader, alpha male, alpha female. These groups had to compete with each other for resources. And so if you have a positive sharing in-group kind of dynamic, you help each other and you're all working together within your in-group. Um, but then complementarily, you know, you're fighting against and hating uh, the out-group and, and not you know, trying to take resources away from them and basically going to war with them, that's what was successful. And this is what is imprinted in our brain stems. Absolutely, we have these very strong built-in drives to affiliate and have these warm, agreeable, high positive social interactions for people within our in-group and the exact opposite for people who we judge to be in our out group. And there's so many levels of this that, that get manifest in our modern social environments. We're members of many, many different kinds of groups at many different levels, but the same basic raw kind of instinct of love versus hate uh, takes place at, at these different levels. And some groups, of course, engender much more of, of one versus the other, Different levels of these things are more core, more important for our true identity. Uh, and again, in the, in the political arena, this is really, really a strong force that we can see play out in so many different ways. And, and so, you know, I think it's really important that we understand where this comes from. We are aware that this is kind of what we're, what our brains are bringing to the table and why it was important evolutionarily, but maybe not so important these days and we may need to find ways of overcoming these predispositions these biases that we bring uh and, and in order to really be more adaptive in dealing with our current modern day society which is very heterogeneous so many different groups and so much larger than anything our brains kind of had to deal with in the evolutionary past there, there's definitely well-documented cases of kind of chimp outgroup war kinds of dynamics. War is just a constant in human history. And again, all the movies have, you know, a hero and a villain. It's always about the in-group and the out-group. Uh, so, you know, high school, again, is all about formation of these little cliques, these in-groups and out-groups, everything that happens in our brains with respect to groups we just have this fundamental kind of organization of in versus out. Uh, and so it's, it's just so pervasive. So yeah, if we're optimistic, can, is there some way we can overcome those kinds of forces and somehow entrain ourselves to, to, to reason and, and think about, you know, ourselves really as one big group that needs to cohere if we're going to survive, we'll see. There's a lot of uh, evolutionary reasoning about these kinds of groups and, and this notion in particular about selfish genes uh, and this idea that genes are really the things that are uh, propagating through evolution, not organisms. We think of it as organisms because we are organisms, but really uh, from an evolutionary perspective, you can make the case that it's the genes that that matter, not the, not the individuals. And so the genes are shared among a large group of people. And so if, if the group does better as a whole, then that actually helps the genes survive. And so that, this is a way of understanding how essentially group selection can cause uh, the evolution of pro-social behaviors, uh, altruism, uh, this fact that people will go to war and sacrifice, make the ultimate sacrifice, you know, die for their country. This is how strong these in-group, out-group dynamics are, right? I mean, people are really doing this. And that tells us also that, you know, 
that's these social forces, these groups are uh, perhaps so strong because these uh, the genes are are making us do it to make them propagate.